Hey, what's up YouTube, Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I'm gonna show you how to change your rear brake pads on a 2015 Lexus LX570. This is the same as a Land Cruiser model of the same year. Now, the first thing I like to do is grab a screwdriver and push the caliper piston back in, which will push the fluid backwards through the system back up into the master cylinder. It's a good idea to take a look at the master cylinder and make sure you have enough room uh, so that when you push this fluid backwards, you're not gonna overflow and make a big mess. I've already looked and we've got plenty of room on this one. But just grab a screwdriver here and if you just put it right here in this little opening and just wedge that against the pad and the rotor and just pull that towards you, you can see what we're doing is pushing that caliper piston all the way back inside the caliper. A lot of times I'll shift the screwdriver over in between the pad and the rotor on the inside and then give it a pull that direction. And that seems to help push that piston all the way back in. That looks like we're good. Now we just need to loosen and remove these two little caliper slide pin bolts. It's the slide pin itself, but it's also a bolt. These are 17 millimeter. set those aside. We're going to clean those up and re-grease them. Now on this caliper, we can just take this off and a lot of times I'll just use one of these hooks here and hook it on somewhere. Yeah, that'll stay. Just don't want that to fall down and yank on the brake line. Okay, and then we can pull out our old brake pads here. You can see that the wear indicator is on the, uh, the bottom of the inside pad. We're also going to change out these clips here. We can just pry all these off. Get them out of the way. Now you can take this caliper bracket off if you want to to clean it up really well. This one's really not that bad but I'm going to give it a quick brush here with the wire wheel. Just make sure you wear some eye protection if you use this. Really just trying to get down in these channels and make sure that those are clean. Now our pads come with the new hardware, so we don't need to reuse that. You just kind of figure out which way they go. You see that there's this little channel that goes in here, but this part here that sticks out goes on the outside. So this one goes on this side over here, and this one will go on this side here. And then of course there's two at the top. Now I like to put a little bit of protecting type of grease on these little channels, and you gotta be careful to not get any on the rotor but I like to put just a little bit in this little channel here. Just use my finger underneath these clips. And that's, you know, that's not necessarily a lubricant or a grease or anything, but that just helps protect uh, the metal here from, from rusting and getting corroded in there. But let's just, just snap those clips in place. Same with the inside ones. Kind of helps if you start from the inside and snap them outward. And they should just snap right in place. There we go. Now on our new pads, this little noise maker is not attached. So we do need to just clip that in place and that just, just clips onto the end right like that. Pretty easy to do. Okay. Now before we put the pads on, I do like to put that same caliper grease here on the back of the pads. I always put a little bit at the ends. Sometimes I'll just come in here and do it in the channel, you know, but it's the same, same general area. And the idea is that these do need to be able to move freely in there. We just don't want them to bind up. Now, remember this one, the noisemaker, the little squealer that actually went on the inside. So let's make sure we get a little bit on the channel on the inside there too. Careful not to get that on the rotor. And then these can be tricky sometimes, but we just kind of Sometimes you gotta angle that. See if we can get that started. Make sure that our clips are fully seated. There we go. That just took a little extra nudge. Uh, same with the outside pad here. A little bit of grease at the ends and on the back. Just make sure you don't get any grease on the surface of the pad or on the rotor. And if you do, just clean it off. There we go. Again, sometimes you do have to kind of put that in at an angle. 
Okay, and also on the caliper here, before we put that on, I'm just gonna smear a little bit of grease on that little part right there and on the little metal face of the piston here. That just seems to kind of help cut down on some of the noise and vibration that happens on, on brakes and prevents a little bit of squealing. Well, let's take this off. And just position that right back where it was. And then just remember, we're, we're gonna clean these slide pins off. Really, really these aren't too bad. Just inspect them for you know wear or pitting or anything, but these look fine. And then we're gonna get some, some grease on there. This is a special grease. You know, you can only use caliper grease or brake grease on these. Regular grease will cause them to stick and bind up. Oh, there we go. Let's get those started. I'll just snug these down. And then the torque spec that I found for these is 65 foot pounds. And you're done. Pretty quick and easy job. Again, we're just, this is just a pad swap. If you had to do the rotor, you'd have to uh, pull off that bracket and, and take this off. This has got a wheel spacer on it, so you'd have to take that off as well. Now, just remember, before you drive off, it's important that you step on the brake pedal several times until it feels firm. Now, don't press it all the way to the floor, or you can damage the seals in the master cylinder. Just press it a few times until it feels firm, and that will press this piston back out, pushing the pads up against the rotor where they need to be. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description to some of the parts and tools they used as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.